Welcome back and today we are going to cover module 3 of Google Certified Educator Level 1 exam. As you know that in my previous videos I have already mentioned that I will be dividing the Google Apps uh, which are covered up in the exam in four modules and today we will cover up module 3. Now in module 3 I have uh, you know put in apps like YouTube, Calendar, Blogs, and Google Meet. So let's move to the first app in YouTube. And the points which we will cover up for the exam would be searching and sharing up YouTube videos, subscribing to a channel, creating your own channel, adding a description and title, and then creating a playlist for your own channel. Okay, so let's move in. So log in on youtube.com. Once you log in on youtube.com, now, for example, you're searching digestive system. Now, as a teacher or educator, suppose you like this video, so you click on it. I would just wait, skip the ad. And as soon as the video opens up, what I'll do is I'll pause it. And if you see this link share, if you click on this link, so that link opens up the file of the YouTube name the file of the, the the name of YouTube file sorry so if you see this if you click on copy it copies it alternately you can click uh, the URL from the browser also and then you can go on your inbox type the email ID And that's the video you copy paste and then click on send. So that was the first part. Go on any video. That's the URL. You can either copy that or if you click on share. You could just click on copy. Here. Okay. Now look at, let's look at the second option. Like subscribing a channel. Now suppose you there, there are a lot of content creators on YouTube. Suppose you have a content creator like Ted Ed, right? And you feel that you've been uh, seeing a lot of good videos coming from Ted Ed. So what you could do is you could click on the subscribe button here. Now, as soon as you click on the subscribe button, what happens is every time Ted Ed releases a video, or probably goes on YouTube live, you get a notification at your end. So that's a very good, it's like you're following uh, the channel and every time the channel releases a video, since you're subscribed, you get alerts at your end. So that was subscribing a channel. Now let's look at the bottom three points here because they are kind of linked with each other. So create a channel. Now, why would you want to create a channel? Now, normally, here we learned was to subscribe a channel. But sometimes what you need to do is you want to create your own channel, probably upload your own video or create a playlist of the videos. So let me explain you first on how do you create your own channel. So log in into your YouTube account, as I mentioned, click on the name this icon on the right hand side now you will see a link as create a channel now make sure in exam when you log in you are logged in in the with the id what the proctor you is providing you the proctor you examination so 
some uh, so that's why if you see i'm logged in in an incognito window that means i'm signed out of all the windows and this is the only window opened up uh, the gmail account which is opened up so i just click on create a channel just click on get started so it'll ask you either use your own name or use a custom name so right now i'll just select my name and there it creates your channel now once it creates your channel it opens up the setup for you wherein you can upload the file you can write on the description if needed you can add your facebook links your you your twitter links and your instagram links and just click on save and continue Now, once you click on save and continue, it opens up options for you, wherein what you could do is you can upload a video. And here, if you go on videos, because you haven't uploaded any video, it doesn't show you anything. Playlists, we've not created one, so we'll create one shortly. And uh, all your channels which you are subscribed to are visible here once you click on. And when you go on library, it shows you again your history, your liked videos, the playlist you created and the watch leader, uh, later options and all. So now since you've created a channel, now let's look at adding a description and title to the channel. Okay, so we just go on your channel, we click on customize. Now, if you see, we had already added some kind of a description earlier, but sometimes you need to change it, or uh, you know, you need to make certain changes to it. Or you can you want to add more more and more channels, you could you know go about doing that. So and when you click on add channel art, it's asking me to sign in in the drive. Okay, there seems to be some issue there. So if you click on this link that's your channel icon and if you click here you got your links your channel art here so any background picture you want to add here and out here if you click on on the right hand side the notification icon if you see it says keep all my subscriptions private so if you want to keep all your subscription private you can on and off accordingly you know the setting here right and clicking on the name will get you back to your the home page of your the channel so description and title if you see we added when we created the channel so it, it gave you details there itself now let's look at how do you create playlist and get the link of playlist. So click on home. And uh, what we'll do is we will type muscles song. And once you click on this video, you can just forward it to the forward the ad. Now, once you do that, pause it. Right now, instead of share, what you'll do is you'll click on save and you'll click on this plus sign. So, because we don't have any playlist created, we'll click on create new playlist and we'll name it as science videos. 
and if you see privacy it's public unlisted and private now public means your playlist as and when you keep creating if anyone goes on your channel can view the playlist unlisted means it will only be available to people whom you provide the playlist link to right it won't be publicly available private is playlist only for you so understand it's just like your file sharing options public means everyone can see the playlist unlisted means only the people whom you share the playlist with can see that and private is only the two so right now we name it as uh, let's name it as unlisted for example and we click on create so this particular video is added in the playlist now let's go on the bone songs and add this too so now second time when you click on it you can just tick mark this there are certain videos you would go on would not show you the save option so there are some videos which are meant only for children very small children so then this button normally gets disabled as per the facebook policy so let's save the third video so we've done that do is the playlist what you have created appears here on the left hand side so once you click on it science videos you could see that there is a playlist called science videos it's got three videos here now let's understand how do you share the playlist now what will happen is when you share the playlist that's your playlist link all the three videos go in this format to the student rather than you sending three different links now suppose you had 10 links here for example so instead of sending 10 links what you could do is create one playlist and click on this icon which is share click on copy and then go on your email box and you could just type playlist for science videos now as and when you keep updating the playlist at your end the students will be able to see all the updated link of the the playlists so either we click on this right click and copy this link or we click on share button here and copy the link from here okay so that completes our module on youtube thank you for watching and i will see you in the next session